Makeover shows are all the rage right now, but how about giving your pantry and your freezer a healthy makeover? We have some great tips today to show you how to do that. And with us here today to talk about that is Kathy D. Giuseppe. She's a nutrition educator with Penn State Cooperative Extension. And Kathy, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for inviting me, Beth. Let's start out by talking about, first of all, why it's so important to stock a healthy pantry and a healthy freezer. Well, if we don't have healthy foods at home, we can't make them. So it's really important to really think about it with planning and a little bit of knowledge so we know what to buy. Okay, and then you're not caught off guard when you run home. Absolutely. When we're running late and we're in a hurry. Okay. So we'd have a tendency to maybe grab something like macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets when there are a lot of better different options. But you have to have them in the house first. You've got to start right. with getting them in right. the house. Before we talk about that, and we have lots of foods here to mm -hmm. talk about, let's talk about what maybe we want to think about eliminating from our pantry because if we're putting healthy food in then some of the junk has to go yeah, out. Yeah, there's definitely some items we'd want to either eliminate or reduce in our homes. Things like soda, candy, cookies, high fat crackers. They're really fast to grab and sometimes you'll have a tendency to go for those instead of something healthier. Right, right. Any tips for dealing with those if you don't want to eliminate them entirely? Well, we all have our cravings and we have certain things we really like. So maybe buy smaller packages of some of those items, like chips. It's a great one. I know I like chips. So I try and buy smaller bags, maybe the snack size ones. That way you don't have a tendency to overeat. Or if you buy the larger bags, put some on your plate, leave the room, put the bag away. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just eating from Instead the bag. Instead of eating from the bag. Yeah. And Definitely try not to sit in front of the TV and eat. We all have a tendency to overeat when we're sitting there watching TV. And how about alternatives? Say, I love mayonnaise and I don't want to get it up. Definitely. My husband's one of those. He loves his mayonnaise. <laughs> I try and buy lighter versions of it so it's less fat in okay. going into our diets. Terrific. Let's start out with the pantry. You have sure. a, a list of ideas for things that you mm -hmm. think are great for us to keep stocked in our pantry. And we have a full list on the website, which is www.pottstownfoundation.org. You just scroll down to the Mission Good Nutrition sign, and you'll be able to find that list. But Kathy, walk us through some of those. We Let's some, start out here. We have some great items with us. This is the, Our first one is our cereal, whole grain really great way to start our day. Just make sure when you read the label, the first ingredient for the ingredients should be whole, whole oats, whole wheat. Okay. And also we want to remember that within the first five ingredients, we shouldn't really be seeing sugar. Okay, very yeah. important to remember that. Then we have our whole grain oats. That's a great breakfast item. And it really comes in those nice little convenient packs oh, these to are take fantastic. with us. Yeah, great. And on the end, we do have one of those snack items that we all like. But we tried to get the light version. Okay, so that's making a compromise. Making a compromise. Right, okay. Moderation is the other key. Okay. And then, of course, there's great options now available, such as the granola bars. Just make sure there's a lot of choices out there, but we have to read the labels to see that we're not getting a lot of added fat or sugar. Terrific. You mentioned high-fat crackers. But and there's a lot. There's a whole yeah. slew to choose from, once again. And I know you're going to be talking about it later with reading the labels. That's where it right. all starts. Right. But there, and there are some crackers that are Absolutely. low-fat and we healthy. We have with us reduced fat. That's a great right. way to start. Super. How, how about popcorn? Popcorn's kind of gotten a, a bad rap. But, but popcorn's a whole grain. Okay. So it's a great choice. Just we want to watch... Um, Make sure you buy the, the lower fat brands. Lower fat versions. Uh, okay. Definitely don't take the whole bag with you again. Right, <laughs> right. Although bags like this, you can actually buy some of the individual serving Snack size. size. Yeah. And that's a great option. Okay. Keeping with the whole grains, we have something called couscous. Yeah. It's a grain that not a lot of people know about. Boy, is it fast to make. It really saves us time in the kitchen. Great. Okay. Same with the brown rice. The brown rice is another great option of a whole grain. And the quick cooking is a really good option if we don't have a lot of time. Great. You have uh, tomatoes. Definitely items we want in our pantry. Tomatoes. Tomato diced tomatoes, tomato sauce. All those, it really helps you to be able to put a meal together fast. Combine them with chicken or pasta. pasta. Absolutely. Beans. Speaking of pasta. We have our whole grain pasta with us. Now, I know some of us maybe haven't really tried the whole grains before, and they sometimes can be a little pricey. So maybe start 
with blending them. Just remember the whole grains take a little bit longer to cook so you can maybe stick in half of your pasta and then a minute or two later put in some of the white pasta till we get used right. to the flavor. Vegetables as well that you can mix in with the pastas are certainly a quick side. Absolutely. Yep. Okay and then one of my favorites for a quick meal, soup. Yes, soup's a great option. It's a really easy great. way to get our vegetables in our diet. Excellent. You say salsa is salsa wonderful. Salsa is kind wonderful. Of it's Great. chopped full of vegetables. How can we go wrong? And there's no fat in there. Super. Peanut butter and jelly can be healthy. A staple in every child's life. Excellent. Just try and go for the natural or peanut butter. low fat peanut butter. And then if we're, when we want our jelly with our peanut butter, try and go for the low sugar content low items. Low sugar. Okay. Sprays, the, the cooking spray, olive oil is Absolutely. better. Absolutely. The sauces, sauces, so fat. salad dressing, aim for low sugar, low fat items. Great. Something else I find is also wonderful, the tuna. Oh, that's a great way to make a fast meal, especially Super. for lunch. And of course, spices. We don't want spices. to forget spices. Absolutely. Let's talk about the freezer. You say there's a, a number of uh, healthy quick meals, convenience meals. Absolutely. The freezer is a great place to be able to pull together a good healthy meal. That way we can buy ahead and have it on hand. Items great to remember are vegetables. There's lots of options to make your meal and they only take five minutes in the microwave. Great, terrific. Shrimp and chicken and turkey, Absolutely. things like that. that you, you want to go for the low-fat versions of turkey, ground, low-fat versions of ground beef. They'll make a fast meal. Excellent. Always good bread keeps well in the freezer. Always. Great place to keep a loaf of bread. Always have it on okay. hand. Whole grain versions, once again, read those labels. On, on the very end, something that I always have in my freezer is veggie burgers. Veggie burgers, burgers are a great choice. Okay. And, and probably my favorite in all of this, low-fat frozen Well, you yogurt. know what? We still want to have dessert once in a while, so just try and think about it in planning. We can go for low-fat yogurt or low-fat fat-free ice cream. It's another good choice. And then add some frozen fruit to it then we're getting our fruit into our diet too. Terrific. It looks like there's lots of lots of options here and lots of things to, to throw together Absolutely. a quick healthy meal. Something else that I do, Kathy, is make my own meals ahead of time and then freeze them. That's a great idea. That way, if we're on the go, we still can get a nice meal in for supper. Remember to pull the casserole in the morning, or if you don't remember to do that, microwave it before you put it in the oven. Terrific. One of the things I like to do is I have used leftover meats and keep frozen vegetables That's and I do great. a stir fry. Super. Kathy, thank you so much. Today we showed you how to give your pantry and your freezer a healthy makeover. Consider stocking foods with whole grains like cereals, crackers, rices and pasta, vegetables, especially tomatoes and tomato sauces, low-fat soups and beans and tuna and don't forget spices for the freezer, frozen veggies, chicken, shrimp and whole grain bread. With a little planning, you're never more than a few minutes from a healthy meal. For more information, PottstownFoundation.org.